today's goal is largemouth and lots of them. We're gonna put her back. some of these fish, some of these fish are on beds and some of them aren't. We're at about half and half right now. It's been kind of a crazy spring. Whew, it's turned into a nice day today. Sun's popping out, a little breezy but it ain't too bad. Kind of in a little calm spot here and I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm throwing plastics, weightless plastics. Okay, I like using creature baits and the reason I like using these goofy looking creature baits is because it's something the fish haven't seen a million times already. A lot of guys throw the same baits over and over and over and over again and these fish get sick of seeing the same things. So creature baits, on a, I, I use a number four aught um, worm shank hook in some really some really heavy duty uh, uh, braided line uh, this power line you you it's a necessity and when you're fishing this jungle these lily pads and cattails and wood and cattail uh, roots and, and lily pad roots and uh, it's just a lot of ugly stuff out there that can really damage your line so heavy 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 line is a must baits fish haven't seen before you're gonna catch a lot more fish. Just keep fan casting, you're gonna get bit. Swallowed that thing. Nice fish. Beautiful color. Another little thing I like doing right now, this especially this time of year, is put a little sauce on your bait. Scent that baby up with some extra scent that you can buy. You know, it's real cheap, eight bucks a bottle. The bottle will last you years. Uh, the reason being, you know, a lot of these fish are guarding their beds and they'll chase stuff out of their beds. They won't necessarily trigger a strike. So when you get a fish closer to it, and if you get that added scent on there, sometimes you can get that extra strike just by doing that. <laughs>
This isn't the big female that I was going for, but I'm just putting along this, this weed line right here, and there's sporadic beds all along the weed line. And uh big thing I can tell you when you're doing this kind of fishing, you got to have a pair of polarized sunglasses. you got to do it. If I forget them at home, I turn around and go get them. you got to have it. I wouldn't have been able to catch this fish and a lot of other ones today without them, so get yourself some sunglasses. Parker. pad root sticking out of the, the water and I casted by it and boom right on cue and man just a hog she came up and rolled and off she went she shook the bait well it's sandwich 30 hope uh, hope you guys had fun watching me slam some some nice large mouth we're gonna have a little lunch regroup and keep hitting her I'm Joshua John Wells and this is Minnesota Outdoor Journal.